I will show you how to deploy your Streamlit app such as this on Heroku's platform. Heroku is a platform as a service offering that allows developers to fairly easily carry out app deployment, scaling, and management. Your app operates entirely in the cloud. So let's get going with how we can deploy your Streamlit app such as this on Heroku. First thing, you need to open an account with Heroku. I will leave a link to Heroku in the description so you can do that. Once you have opened that account, there are basically two ways to launch your Streamlit app on Heroku. First, do it through CLI or command line interface or two, directly deploy on Heroku's platform. We're gonna go with option two, deploy directly on Heroku's platform. But the first thing you gotta do is get over to GitHub, to your account. If you don't have one, you need to open one and create a new repository. Basically, you give it a name, uh, give it a description, make your repository either public or private, um, you know, depending on what you're looking to do, private's likely better. And in my case, I already have a repository I created for the app that I was showing earlier, the stock price uh, graph app. So there are four files that are required for you to either upload or create here in GitHub. The first is the Python code that you use to create the Streamlit app with, the .py file. You need to upload that here in this repository. Second is a mandatory requirements.txt, a text file that essentially highlights all the libraries or lists all the libraries that are used in your code that Heroku needs to know in order to help you deploy your app. So you would list them all here. The third file that's mandatory is this shell, setup shell, that Heroku needs in order to construct the app on their platform, sort of put it together and uh, help you deploy it. <clears throat> and lastly, proc file. This is basically Heroku's way of knowing that you want to, uh, in this case, uh, deploy a web app and it's going to use the shell here in setup and use those instructions in the setup shell file and then run the Streamlit app. So if you're familiar with launching Streamlit apps from your command line interface, you typically have to, this, not typically, you always have to use Streamlit run name of the file dot pi and that's how you launch on your local host. So with those four files, you're good to go. One thing to keep in mind, proc file, P has to be capitalized. Setup.sh, shell file, no caps. All right, now let's head over to Heroku. So once you've done all this, you got it all set up. You would go to Heroku and you would deploy um, your app there. And in my case, I already done that. So this graph stock price, so the app that I was showing you earlier, is set up on Heroku. And when I open that app that I built or deployed on Heroku, here you go. And so now this is being deployed on uh, uh, Heroku. And uh, you will see the URL that generates for you ends in herokuapp.com. All right, so this is the app that I st started my video with, which was uh, launched from my local host and here it looks the same on Heroku. Now quickly on Heroku, if I go to my personal page, I could just say create a new app and uh, I could, it would be easy as just naming the file, uh, naming the app something, and you would just create say create app. Pretty straightforward. You would then say, I wanna to connect to GitHub because you have the repository there. And in your account, you have to just, the repository that you named there, you would, you would provide that name here and uh, select that. And once you have done that, there are two more steps. They are pretty straightforward. And that's all it takes to launch your app on Heroku. Hope you found this helpful.